Well, it is Saturday the uh, 3rd of December 2022. I'm at East Ipswich Railway Station. And I'm waiting on a couple of trains. I'm going to swing around and after a few minutes there's going to be apparently two trains coming through here in a few minutes. One is the Westlander and I call that one the train of shame because it's got no sleeping car for the long overnight journey. And I understand be a freight train coming through and I can get a couple of other trains that go into Brisbane and have a look at the spirit of the outback and the spirit of Queensland trains. Six car uh, DMU arriving at East Dip Switch. Departing for Ipswich eventually. They had the uh, doors closing sound go over three times now. There it goes. Charleville, of course. No, it's not the Westlander, by the way. Hey, it's a uh, coal train. This time, I think it's the Westlander. Yep. There she comes. Train of shame from Charleville. Okay, I'm over on platform three. It's very unusual, I've got to say, for anyone who knows Queensland Rail and long distance trains and the like. The departure times and the platforms are quite different today than they are normally. Now, the uh, spirit of the outback, instead of leaving at 1.55 pm on platform 10, it's leaving at 2.05 pm on platform three. Now, the Rockhampton train that was due at 2.50 on Platform 10 is coming in at 2.54 on Platform 3. So, the Cairns train that the uh, Spirit of Queensland normally goes from Platform 10, it does this time too, but instead of going at 3.45, it goes at 3.56. Don't ask me what the difference is, maybe some track work and what have you, but having a bit of a look around to see what trains are moving at today anyway. 
Also, just looking along Platform 3 and then over onto Platform 2, the rail side of which is the dual gauge, standard gauge and 3 foot 6, big uh, partitions there and the, the roof's gone and they're putting in some uh, uh, columns there, concrete columns. I don't know what they're going to do about all this. Looks like they're going to partially uh, rebuild the platform. Just looking along, it does come to an end just up there, there and uh, in the end of the platform. So that's something that's developing and maybe someone who watches this can tell me what's going on with that. What is particularly interesting to my overseas friends is this dual gauge on platform 3 and on platform 2. In Roma Street and just looking up, platform 3 is a very long platform. The busway, the bit the busway that can be seen in there on the right hand side. And while we're at it, in other words, there's another train coming up. Fairly close tight angle this one. Going to Italy. Just get one more of these suburbs that get a bit monotonous. Then we'll concentrate on the spirit of the Outback train. Now this is a indigenous colours train going to go to Shawcliffe. Spirit of the Outback train set has arrived in platform three. Consist actually, you know, I can see sleeping cars uh, B and D, so A, A and C are not there. Uh, baggage car, and of course, crew from a dormitory car, and those two sleepers in the dining car here, known as the Tucker Box restaurant. But anyway, then there's the lounge, there should be, and a couple of sitters. We'll check them out a little bit. As I was saying, a very short consist, in fact, the reality of the whole matter is that they're lucky to have a train at all. Uh, coming into summer, we are in summer of course, this, uh, being the uh, 3rd of December. And it does get hot out the west and uh, they only got a couple of sleepers on it. Normally have, should be four, but very often it's only been three. But now it seems that there's only two sleepers on this uh, consist. Plus, as I said, crew, car, dining car and uh, Lounge car and two uh, sitting cars are what the uh, Americans call coach cars. And uh, pretty slim sort of 
consist, and I guess not that not a real lot of people travelling on it too, I imagine.